Whether it has a Rev A or Rev B connector, or whether it has a twist or no twist, the MCG Ultimate Grip can be upgraded to fit the new Gunfighter Mark IV base with a simple swap of the twist adapter. In order to do this, we will need the following. A compatible grip, the Rev C module, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and a 2.5mm hex key. To start off, we'll split the grip open by removing the cap and two screws on the right side, and then the five screws on the left side. Gently split the two parts of the shell without using a significant amount of force. With the grip now open, we'll have to release the grounding spring post to remove the original connector. Next, we'll gently disconnect the grip cable's plug from the mainboard in a smooth motion without tugging on the cable. Avoid any violent wiggling motions. Remove the two hex screws attaching the connector to the grip in order to release the connector and set them aside. There are quite a few differences between the two connectors. Note the extra screw points and the new interface pin. The new connector has to get attached on both sides, so we'll have to remove the two screws securing the brake lever sensor board. Before continuing, it's important to ensure that the wires under the twist adapter are safely arranged between the two screw ports as they could otherwise be damaged. Guide the sensor board's cable between the two ears on the right side of the connector, and then seat your new connector board stack into position inside the grip. Once that's done, we will reinstall the board to the grip with the same two screws, again ensuring the wires thread cleanly between the ears so that they don't get damaged. Now, you can place the connector's hex screws into their original position and then tighten well. In order to prevent the grip cable slack from getting caught in the twist spring or between the shells, tuck some of it into the empty space in the grip's internals. The cable plug must be plugged in with the correct orientation. Look at the plug and its connector and be mindful of this. If it doesn't feel like the connector is plugged in easily, review its orientation and position. Once done, tuck the remainder of the cable slack into the empty space without creating tension. Reinstall the spring post screw, which acts as a ground, and ensure that the post is underneath and contacting this screw. Give the twist adapter a good test to check for unwanted cable tension, a smooth twist movement, and a lack of unwanted movement from other components. If everything is all good, it's a simple matter of closing and securing the grip back up, and you're good to go.